In today's video, we're gonna talk about why growth on YouTube should never be your end goal. And to be honest, I used to be that way too. I used to be hyper laser focused on growing my YouTube channel, especially when I saw other people hitting those big subscriber and view counts. I wanted that for myself too. But then I realized it's all pretty pointless actually. YouTube is meant to be used as a tool, as a vehicle for your message. It's not supposed to be the end all be all to your success for a few reasons. First and foremost, you don't own YouTube and it can literally disappear at any point in time. Actually, there are multiple times, even just last year, where the site just completely went down and people couldn't access it. And this is why many people advise you to make sure that you have an email list so that you can actually have some way of staying connected with the people who follow your channel in case anything were to happen to it, in case you were to lose it because of hackers or you know if the whole site went down. And even though in views to clients, I don't tell you how to do an email list step by step, I do emphasize using it as a part of your overall ecosystem for this very reason. So it's important that you don't wrap up your value in to achieving high subscribers and view counts on a platform that could literally disappear at any given point in time. Huge growth does not necessarily mean huge impact. There are people with literally thousands of followers and they have no idea what to do with them. I mean, imagine what would happen if you were to have a thousand subscribers overnight what, what would you do with them? Would you know how to engage with them? Would you know how to interact with them? Would you know what to do with them? Where to send them? And I'm not even just talking logistically speaking here. I mean, would you even be mentally prepared for that much of a change to your subscriber base? Would you still be able to come to them if, with the same authentic and genuine energy that you bring to a smaller audience? Is your message clear enough that they would want to keep watching you and keep engaging with you and, and want to learn more about your services or the business that you have? You know, I wonder this myself about my own channel. If I were to gain a thousand subscribers overnight, like would I be able to handle that? I mean, I do my best, but to be honest, I'd be pretty full of myself to go ahead and assume that that transition would happen with ease. And there are so many channels out there with people who have this overnight success and they get it and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to replicate it in their new videos or maybe they know how to, but they just don't want to because it doesn't fill up their cup. That's a big reason why I've stopped envying larger channels for the most part because you never really know what they have to go through to maintain that momentum. That's a lot of pressure, especially if you've gained that momentum going in a direction that you're not quite sure of. I'd rather be at a position where I can fine tune my message and my content and be crystal clear and show up authentically and genuine and love what I do and what I'm saying and then have people follow me because of that or subscribe to my channel because of that. That's a super comfortable place to be in and I like comfortable. I bet you do too. At the end of the day, to kind of sum it all up, your subscriber count, your views, they do not determine your value and they will never, never determine your value. If no one else has said this to you before, please hear me when I say this, you have so much value, okay? What you feel called to say is incredibly valuable and someone out there needs to hear it. Even if it's just one person, just one soul, then it is extremely important that you say what you need to say, how you need to say it. Because you never know how desperately that one person needs to hear your message. And it does not matter if a thousand other people are saying the same exact thing that you are saying. If you are spreading a message of love, of healing, of transformation, then there are people that you need to reach that I can't reach. That the other people that you follow and are subscribed to, that they can't reach as well. So it's super, super important that you understand this basic principle. 
that everyone cannot reach everyone. That's it. Point blank period. This is especially important in the YouTube space because there's just so much out here and really on all social media platforms for that ma matter, there's just so much capitalist BS nonsense out there that people have to scrape through just to really get to the transformative messages and the knowledge that they need and that they're looking for. And if even just a quarter of the channels out there would stick to the messages that you're trying to share, to those encouraging messages, those transformative messages, then just imagine Imagine, imagine how many people could be reached, even if those channels are just experiencing the trickle success that the rest of us are used to. That trickle success, those trickling in views would still compound and reach so many people. So we have to remember that. We have to remember that everyone cannot reach everyone. And so it's important for really all of us to do our share. And, you know, I feel that many, especially purpose-driven entrepreneurs, they get really discouraged when they see the small growth on their YouTube channels because they really have that strong desire to reach a ton of people so that they can help a ton of people. But if you just remember that if you learn how to focus on serving just at least the one, then the rest will follow. The rest that need to hear this message from you will follow. So, ooh, I love this video. This was completely not planned for, but I was just, I felt inspired. See, that's the importance of following inspired content, that right there, because otherwise you would not have had this from me today. So, there you go. If this video spoke to you, then let me know in the comments. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. And just remember that at the end of the day, the platform is absolutely irrelevant. It's all about your content. It's about your message. But if you do want to use YouTube and you don't want to sacrifice your message for trends, then be sure to add your name to the waitlist for my upcoming YouTube course, Views to Clients, and make sure that you get on there either using the link in the description box below or the link in my Instagram bio. And if you are a new online coach or service-based entrepreneur and you need to figure out how to use your YouTube channel the appropriate way, then definitely make sure you check out last week's video where I break that down for you. I'll see you there.